married their fights was usually um around and all that online to attacking my family you know <laughs> seriously and that is I obey the elder sister nasi ume she don't come as come explain her own part of the story way be say the visit where they go via so say now she not make her her marriage like her sister marriage no work which is Cora OBD and Justin Dean. She said not be the reason, not be she be the reason why this is their marriage no work. Rather, she they try to help them so many times, even to the extent their marriage can begin to affect her own marriage. We be say she go daylight with them for hours. So I said, please say now nah, now. Nah. Not be only mad that they talk her now, she constantly receives some threats. The journal say because she posts her family, they can't say she gather her family together, she can't break her sister marriage. Make her not forget this girl obi day will talk about so not be child though. Now adult, adult will be say she feel she know what he, she know what's good for her. You know, she go feel decide for herself. Say okay, this thing she wants and she don't want her. So now now see women are called they receive threats and they say she she break her pers uh, person marriage she break her younger sister marriage why her own day goods now so her the way her life go be you know make her just hear she don't come out now can't explain say see what thing really happen we be say as in make her really judge and whether the chat will be say she chats with the guy which is with justin whether now the thing will be supposed to break up now she chat or not make her about herself and make her just hear the way she did explain that from the beginning to the end. All right, my people, thank you so much. I'm here. I'm here to clear my name. <laughs> I received my first effort yesterday. And that made me, that made me sad. And also, uh, I wouldn't say scared, but worried. I say debunking a lot of, um, a lot of myths on the, on the internet. I'm also going to be setting the record straight as well as clearing my name because for some reason, <laughs> because the only reason why I'm receiving death threats at this point in my life, you know, I would, I would have imagined that, you know, I was some sort of kingpin who was into some sort of criminal activity for someone to be threatening my life over a social media um, issue. That has nothing to do with them. Okay, so as you all know, in the past couple of days, uh, there was an audio that was leaked. And from that audio, um, one party was heard saying that everything was fine. Everything was perfectly fine until I came into the picture. The person called me uh, and said a, quite a number of defamatory statements. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk about the time, how my relationship with this person started and the role that I played in this marriage, the role that I played during the, um, uh, well, pre-divorce and post-divorce, a uh, post-separation rather, and you know, the role that I will continue to play. Okay. Going to be showing you guys uh chat history um okay i'll say this first now that the, the, for, the divorce is officially over as much as i would like this to die down a group of people on, so on facebook especially have taken it too far okay they have graduated from calling me a marriage destroyer and all that online to attacking my family you know, <laughs> seriously. And that is, you know, that is why I'm doing this video. I got my very first death threat via email. And the person says that they hope, oh, hold on, I'm just going to read it. I hope you are happy now that you have succeeded in destroying your sister's marriage. I pray that you experience, hold on, English is not, <laughs> I hope that you experience even worse. You will die before your time. I promise you this. Now, you think that you are happy? You are flaunting your marriage and you think that you are happy. You will die before your time. In my mind, I'm like, what is this? Okay. <laughs> okay. The point that I 
I am being attacked every time for posting my family. Like, it's like, so, well, and all this started from what one person said and what one person, you know, said to everyone that he was talking to. So he was saying everything was fine, everything was fine, until Nancy came along. Well, I'll tell you what I did. Today I'm going to read everything that I did and how I destroyed it so that you guys can, you know, you can, you can judge for yourself, you know, if I actually destroyed it or not. Okay? So um, he was angry that I came into the picture. Before that, she was voiceless. She was already bitten. She couldn't say a word. She was taking all the abuse, you know, every day. And then I came through with the receipts because people were reaching out to me. The only reason why um, I became a threat was because I came with the receipts. You know, everything that I said I had about him, I'm not even willing to talk about it now, but now you know that he can't even deny it anymore because he has confessed in his audio, okay, to doing them. So if I decide ever that this person is getting out of hand and that people need to know who he is, now you know why there's a beef with Nancy, because Nancy, came out with the receipts okay so even the whole brazilian girl thing i was the person that came out with it and that is what was the problem basically and so this person with the audio um doesn't really realize how much trouble she's in um it's not trouble that's gonna happen that's gonna you know pile out now it's something that anyways i, I just uh, today i'm gonna read through all the chats that i had with him and you know so you guys can see what is going on okay i'm going to read through all the chats our history on whatsapp and you know perhaps on instagram so you guys can see how i destroyed how i destroyed the marriage okay so i'm going to flip this camera when i'm ready it's the camera now okay so what you are looking at right now is my my phone and this is the last chat that the first chat that we had on this phone because i did change my iphone and this was 30th of july 2001 let me know if you can hear me guys okay so this um this was the first chat that we had and then before that myself and uh and uh my sister had been going back and forth you know, with the fights in their marriage. Their fights were usually um, around, I'll show my face now. Let me just explain the context of the message that you are seeing. So they usually, used, they used to have fights about, oh, um, I don't want her to post this, um, or I want her to be um, massage therapist and she doesn't want to be, she wants to be in Hollywood. Everybody's telling her she's never going to succeed and she's very stubborn and she doesn't want to do this. And in my mind, I'm like, uh, you can't really force anyone to be anything, really. It's just leave them to pursue her dreams. It was always about your sister is addicted. She's addicted to her phone. She she posts too much online. She's always online. She's not making anything. And it was usually we already talked about it about this earlier when myself and my sister did a live together about the history of the you know financial abuse about how you know she was basically reminded every day she she was nothing. And so they would have fights and they would come and they they would say, um, okay so you are agreeing with her posting this right you are really really supporting this and i'm like well i really can't tell you guys what to do with your marriage but you know i'll talk to her i'll talk to her that's what i kept saying and that's what i kept doing really when they would have their fights i would talk to her they would apologize to each other and life would go on and then yeah it happened and happened until it started to impact my own marriage my own marriage started to suffer because I'll be up all night. You know how the time difference is. My husband will wake up at 1 a.m. and find me mediating in the middle of the night. I'm basically settling fights and quarrels between two adults. And he'll be like, you know what? I, you need to, you know, perhaps go to another room so that I can rest. Because it was, it was getting, and then the, the, the energy. You know how when you're exposed to a lot of toxic marriage energy, it starts to affect your own marriage. Because, you know, you'll be like... Oh my god how can this be happening so he was starting to affect my marriage and at some point i had to block him because every single thing was being reported it was like every single post she made on instagram he would air her he would send it to me and say see what she's about to post 
um, so you agree with this? Are you trying to say you agree with this? And I'm like, really, you can't tell an adult what to do. I've talked to her, I've done my best, you know. Um, I don't know the idea he had about African families because he, I think he was assuming that, you know, we had the power to um, alter her life like that, okay? So, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and read through the messages so that you guys have an idea of what's going on i'm saying this now because i really want this whole thing to die down i'm saying this now because i am tired of the whole oh she she came and then she destroyed it i'll tell you i'll show you how the relationship was it was really close like he really used to talk to me about every single thing that happened in the marriage okay so yeah i'll flip the camera now so you can see so this is the beginning of our chat with this new phone and then he sent me a video that she was about to post and he says, help me explain why, why this is helping her unless you support it. And then I blocked him because we had had a call and he was trying to accuse me of supporting nudity and her posting that stuff. He said he doesn't want her to promote her music with that video. I think she had done a video that he didn't like. So you see, it says blocked business. And then... Uh, September 2021, I, uh, when I say, yeah, I blocked the business. I don't know what, okay, I think this was when he changed the business account to something else. At the time of the delivery, I unblocked him because, you know, they were having a baby. We had been communicating on Instagram, but then on WhatsApp, this is where he used to call me all the time to sort issues. And my, my husband was like, you guys, this is just too much, Okay. Lead them to try and sort their issues by them by themselves. Now I am blocked the business on um, uh, first of March, and then 9th of March <laughs> I blocked the business and unblocked it again. Oh my God! It was like a block and unblock because every single thing um, was being sent here. Okay. So now let's see. Now, this was a chat between them that he sent to me. And he, at the time that he sent this message, I had spoken to her. And, you know, we we're trying to talk about the marriage. And he says, does this really look like a person trying to save her marriage, her family? And I asked him, was this last night? And I was like, Justin, please now, please give her some time. Because I had spoken to them for seven hours. You guys, and he says that this is after I talked to her. Apparently, she's not agreeing with anything that he says. Um, and then... I said, please give her some time because I had spoken to them. And then he said, fame has drained my wife and now she is promoting her book like nothing happened. This was when he came and announced the divorce. And I, you know, we advised both of them to please stay out of social media. Do not handle this on social media. He went ahead and announced it. And then he was complaining that she wasn't bothered. She was promoting her book like nothing happened. And I said, she can't post anything about the divorce online. He says, but people are calling her out for using the hype to promote a product. And I'm like, it's not about people now. Same people are calling you out for airing your dirty linen in public. People will always talk. He said, yeah, I prepared for that. I will accept the consequences. I lose everything in this. So bear in mind, this was when he had announced the divorce and he started saying a lot of defamatory things about her online, talking about he will not be treated this way. He's sick and tired of being treated, blah, blah, blah. So now I said, please give her some time. I had spent all night talking to these people. And then I woke up to this news that he was divorcing her online okay so i said please give her some time if you don't intend to t to make up ever then try to avoid engaging her in a volatile way to m to make it less dramatic experience for your children because i had witnessed the arguments in front of their children and it was terrible okay so i was trying so hard to make this a less dramatic experience for their children and he says her narcissism will affect my children far more than a divorce i said both of you have severe narcissism and he says, I have been evaluated by a UCLA top psychologist. I have anxiety and panic disorder, nothing else. And I said, your actions right now are saying otherwise. Did you contact a divorce lawyer already? Because he said he was going to get a divorce. We were trying to, you know, sort this out. I told my sister to beg him. She went ahead, bought a cake, begged this guy. We're not going to get a divorce. And he was like, no way. I've already put it online because I don't want to go back on my actions. Um, 
He says, no, I haven't gotten a lawyer. My actions are forced by her. And I said, okay, please, Justin, not yet. I told him, do not get a lawyer just yet. Because I still had to talk to my sister. And he says, she divorced me. And I said, she didn't. She was bluffing. Because when they were arguing, she said, well, go ahead and divorce. In fact, I am divorcing you. And then I was like, she was bluffing. A very stupid action that has backfired. Because it was when she said she was divorcing him. He went online and said he was going to get a divorce to everyone. So he said, how is that sort of bluff not sociopathic, especially hundreds of times? Apparently, when they fight, they divorce themselves a thousand times, and not just her, him too. And I said, people learn every day. Now she knows, because now he had put it online. I had to blast that on the internet for her to believe. I have been telling her since 2018, and it only intensified because she knew it, was, it would hurt me. And I said, I listened to her tell you she doesn't know why she does that and that she wouldn't do that again. This is me responding to the fact that they always threaten themselves with divorce every time they had an argument. Okay? Yes, she also swore to your mother the same thing two years ago and your dad and my children. In 2020, they had a very big fight. It happened in my house, um, or 2019-ish, when they were in Nigeria. They were almost divorced, and then she said she was never going to use that threat again to tell him that she was divorcing him for anything that he did. Okay? Then I told Justin, perhaps we made the right decision to end it, but please try and avoid, avoid engaging her with it's your four talks because th that chat I showed you earlier on Instagram between both of them, he was trying to say, well, it's your fault. It's your fault. And I'm like, you know what? Your children are there. So try and avoid that because that is going to escalate. And I watched them insult each other in front of their children because of it's all your four talks. So he said, I never say that. I say that it is a catalyst that costs the, uh, the rest. Without it, extreme fights don't occur. She refuses to own that. I must be a demon. And I, I said, I just heard you do that three hours ago, Justin. You insulted her five times in front of June when I was on the phone. The same thing you complained about yesterday. So exactly what I was saying, I told him to stop telling her it was her fault that he went online to announce the divorce. Okay? They always get into heated fights that eventually end up with them insulting each other in front of their children. Uh, okay, so, so you don't have to be... So you doesn't have to be responsible. Yeah, I guess I did. Not who I am. So who I have become. Anyways, he's trying to give an excuse for the insults he gave her. I don't even want to say the insults here because it was really intense. And it was in front of June. And June was there. She was screaming. And I was like, you know what? This is not healthy. Okay? I said, I know it isn't. What do you do for fun? So I'm trying to cheer this guy up and try to get him to, you know, do something else. He has announced online that he's getting divorced. And as he said, I've spent the last five years building a life for my family. I don't really do anything else. And I told him, you have become me and Cheta because really, that's all we do. We work. It's what I've become. I've had to become in order for my family to excel in LA. It's what all parents do. Well done. So I'm trying to cheer this guy up only person that is benefiting from this is Cora. This guy had gone online to um, announce the divorce. My sister was trying to move on with her life, trying to promote her book, and he was not having it. He was angry that it was not affecting her in any way. And I said, that's not fair. She's finally starting, because she's finally starting to earn. He says, I have to pay child support and live in a studio. And I said, you don't have to. Cora has been making, this is personal information, so I think I'm just going to skip this. Um, so he's trying to say my sister ends more. She's a pathological liar. Um, anyways, so yeah, he's arguing that, you know, he's, she's making more money. He's not making more money, blah, blah, blah. And I, and I'm like, um, that's not even, that's a good thing because his children will be taken care of. He doesn't have to pay any child support because that's what he was worried about. So she, she, and I told him that she also helped to build you. He said, yes, uh, she built his social, but his practice, uh, she cost us dearly with the divorce stress that he would spend entire days at home trying to work it out. That he, um, He's done that at least 30 times, stay at home, um, and I make at least 1K when, when I'm working. And I told him that she wouldn't do this again because she had promised me that she wouldn't divorce, she wouldn't threaten to divorce him again. So she refused to help me with the aspect of my business and, uh -huh. So this time, um, she was um, 
he was telling her that she needed to be his secretary and do his books and everything when she was in america and she was trying to pursue her dreams every time she wants to release a music video he would tell her oh no that's uh that's a stupid thing to do. You're not making any money from this. Basically, he was trying to tell her that this whole singing, dancing thing is not working. You need to become a massage therapist. You need to help me in my practice. And she's like, no, I don't want to do that. I really do not see myself doing that. Anyways, so he said that social media has brought him around five patients in the last three years. So he's trying to downplay the role of social media in his business. Basically, he's sending me how much he made in the last week on Facebook. Um... And he says, here is how much I've made in the last week on Facebook. My numbers for her can't possibly be exaggerated. Um, and, I'm, and I'm saying, what are you trying to prove? You don't want her to earn. He says that I'm getting fucked. She got what she wanted from fame and fortune. She doesn't need me anymore. So she stopped any effort to treat me in any respectable way. Um, so I say, it looks like you're trying to earn as well. Yes, good thing. My point is everything you are saying is both ways, which I can attribute solely to her. Yet it does, but I'm certainly getting the shit end of the deal with divorce. This guy is the one that insisted on getting divorced, remember? And yet I deal with emotional abuse. And yet I can deal with emotional abuse anymore. So and for anyways, basically, I says I, I said, you aren't. You don't even know that. He says the system favors women. Unless Cora goes to great efforts, I will be paying 40% of my income to her. And I said, you have two children, Justin. You intend to dump and leave them for a nanny. She needs the money. She needs to earn. He says, I don't want her money. Remember, right now, he actually says, I don't want her money. Not at all what I am saying. I am not dumping anything. I refuse to be treated like this anymore. I refuse to listen to a woman say she regrets her child because she can't communicate june has been damaged no question and i says and i said the the fault goes both ways of course it does i've tried everything to control my side to fix things uh one was one-sided anyway so he's trying to claim he's trying to prove that she made a lot of money um you know that period so he's saying i have a question for you so he called me basically we spoke on the phone and he's starting, this is 11th of March. I can't deal with the nurse, this narcissist. She buys me a cake and, and because I cry and don't respond, she's hostile. This is the day that she, uh, she, he accused her um, of trying to dislocate June's arm. He says, just, and I said, um, and that day when I woke up, I saw that he had done a live video saying, repeat it, repeat it. You know, you remember the, the live video when he was saying, repeat it? Um, Yes, so I woke up to that live video and I wasn't happy at all. So I said, hi, Justin, I just woke up to your live video and a comment calling her a cheat. I guess you really want to go down the messy route because he saw that the announcement of the divorce wasn't getting her attention. She was trying to promote her book and, she, and we were trying to tell her, do not say anything about this divorce online. Please do not destroy your family any further. This whole mess is going to come down on you if you say a word. So he says um, he was drunk. Uh, after five years of physiological abuse, I wanted no way back. So he says he was trying so hard to make sure that they don't come back together by going online to do that. And he says, I was drunk. And I said, can you please leave the house? Because I witnessed the fight that they had in front of June. And if they had continued to stay in the same house, they would have hurt that child. And he said, it's 4 a.m. And I'm like, if you are drunk, you are going to keep doing things. You're going to keep confronting her, telling her to repeat it, repeat it, going live and, and destroying your family further. So you need to leave that house okay so it says it's 4 a.m uh when it's morning i said he should leave the house he said yes i am sorry nancy this is when he went out to um online to announce you know the whole thing and, and i said the world is thinking that she's been cheating throughout your marriage in fact that athena isn't your daughter because really that's what that's the impression he tried to put out when he was commenting saying that she was a chronic cheat so maybe she will not learn to be accountable for hurting others so you see that the intention for this was just to get back she needs to not do that to my daughters and i said you're doing exactly what you're accusing her of you are not accountable for your own actions you're making things worse for your daughters who now who the world now think aren't yours he said i broke and have been tortured for far too long we agreed no social media you haven't contacted a lawyer yet she has been tortured too from all i've seen you do in the past two days you are the troublemaker here 
yes i am i can't go back to her to be tortured again this is me making sure of it and i said then find a lawyer and do the right thing divorce in peace and stop trying to drag your wife online he says Kara's narcissism will never allow her to mend this and i said do this the right way you're making the wrong decision you're the narcissist here justin get a lawyer you should really look up what a narcissist is i'm sorry i hurt you i was disappointed guys we had spoken for hours talking about how please you guys should try and sort this out if you're getting the divorce that's absolutely fine but please no social media and then i wake up in the morning and then i see that oh my god oh my god oh my god this guy anyways so this is you the past 48 hours you're destroying the mother of your children you're not hurting me you're hurting yourself you feel good now because you feel you're getting a, the world blah 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 leave that house get a lawyer do the right thing without destroying your children's future they are now bastards in the eyes of everyone this was when people were asking me to go and tell my my brother-in-law to get a dna test for my nieces and that is the biggest that is the biggest pain ever for a mom so yes um yeah, nobody cares about that. You're the perfect person, but look at what you've done in the last 48 hours. He says, I'm sorry I did. I snapped. Yes, I did. I understand why you're angry. You're going to keep doing whatever you can to fill your ego. You can do, you can go drink again, go live and film your breastfeeding wife naked. Just remember to contact your lawyer today. She, so, but when she films herself naked against my approval and divorces me, it's okay. So I say, I'm really angry at this point. I'm telling him, get a lawyer, get this over with, and then, you know, stop harming the children. Anyways, uh, there was a money issue at the time about 10K leaving the account. So that's, that's it. He says the damage is done. She will have to put them first now, not social media. So basically he wants her to stop concentrating on social media. So you're really, and I said, okay, so you've destroyed your children's future and you're feeling like you did something because people were asking for DNA tests. He had said that she was sleeping when she was pregnant with somebody else with no evidence. And I've said, I'm sure that's exactly what the first women of Me Too movement were told. I'm not the psycho manipulated. I will not be psycho manipulated anymore. Not by you, not by her, not by anyone. And I asked him because there, there was a drinking problem. Every time he did something, he would say he was drunk. And I say to the manipulator here, you do realize that you can get a divorce without going online to scream at your wife, right? Connor a dog and beat him and he will eventually bite back. I was just worried about this whole thing being on social media. That was my problem. He said, I'm on your side, but you're starting to hurt my nieces. At that point, I really didn't care about these two people. I just wanted my nieces to be fine. Um, and I said to him, stop this thing. You're hurting your children. And I said... You don't care about your children. He says, yes, I do. My daughters will never put up with this psychological torture for five years, blah, blah, blah. You called her names in front of June yesterday. Same thing you're complaining about. I told you to stop doing things to damage your girls. You said, okay. I wake up to a live video of you doing the same thing with June in the room. You are the torturer, blah, blah, blah. I told him to leave that house because they kept fighting and in front of their children. He said, I did that. I see that Cora and I have been doing it for years. We both have been torturing June. I've been trying for years to stop participating in it. I'm not innocent or trying to pretend so. I'm leaving this house. I'm actually surprised Cora didn't bash my head while I was sleeping. She certainly threatened to. So I said, leave the house so you're not triggered to ruin my niece's lives. I don't care about both of you at this point. Since you're, you're both babies, I wish I could get June at least. He says, I'm leaving. I fully expected you to hate me. I hate what you're doing to the girls. Leave them out of your mess. He says the girls shouldn't have had Instagram accounts. Uh, I objected, but she did that behind my back. I said that is not enough to scream at their mother on live video with them present. Leave that house. Um, so I'm just trying to tell you how I destroyed their marriage. Since everybody's saying I destroyed it, right? And I said, stop this nonsense now. I leave that house. You know, I spent three hours of my time screaming at my sister for all the wrongs that she has done to you. You are acting like I've ever sided her. If anything, you're the evil person. At least you're, not, you're the only person I've seen in action. Stop sending me this rubbish and leave the house. So he had been telling me all sorts on Instagram and, you know, about trying to defame my sister, take it, he said, take a trip over to Moist Beach Club, which is one of the things he said, one of the defamatory things that he said about her. Um, anyways, you scream at your sister and it does nothing. Uh, basically, he was just trying to complain. He said, and I said, I wasted my precious time talking to you yesterday. What did you do? You went live with your child in the room. How understanding of you. There's absolutely no excuse for what you did. My nieces are officially bastards online because of you. Congratulations. 
he said the bastard part is easy to clear up and that part wasn't my intention there's no excuse for me doing anything she does uh, but for four years she's still making them anyways he says um i'm never going to trust another human in my life so i'm going to play this So basically he's saying my family doesn't deserve this he did something online he constantly said stuff that made people start to think that my nieces were bastards so in my mind i was like yo you're not sorry you put up a wrong narrative you lied you're going to destroy her you said you're tired of the cheating i said imagine how you would feel if you woke up and then um she's and i said she's tired of you constantly beating her up and i said you beat her up and she never got for once got you know demonized you like you've done again i'm pissed off because i've i have woken up to more he needs to get a dna test for those girls and it's pissing me the hell off so as he says i'm sorry i hurt you i broke i regret going public i was the it was the only way in my emotionally unstable mind to make her stop i and i and then at the time there was this particular man that was you know saying all sorts of things about this marriage he was on instagram he was supposed to be a relationship person and he has started going to download his family history for this guy so this guy was using his family to make posts on instagram so i said i see that your best is with the random supporter you found on instagram he's downloading everything you've told him in a destructive way and that is how i know that it is you that is at work because everything about their fights he was going to tell this blogger and this blogger was busy making posts and making fun of them online and I, he said um i did what i did to stop the fighting i I'm staying away from everything. You know that I've been trying with every fiber in my body to make this marriage work. It fell on deaf ears. I said, you are not stopping the public fight. That's all I'm trying to say. Both of you have issues. Both of you. Stop trying to be an angel. You're still going public by telling everyone that needs to hear how you're such an angel. You aren't. Talk about both of you. So he says, all I'm going to say is that I'm sorry. I've never had an issue admitting anything I've done. It's not, it's not going to help Cora any. Um, I'll just prove that what I'm saying. I've been treated like an expendable piece of trash since 2018. Everybody breaks. I've made mistakes. I'm not innocent. And I said, we have told both of you to not say a word on social media. She has listened to us. You, on the other hand, I just wonder what happened when she says... I just wonder what will happen when she sees her own side. You have treated her like trash too, Justin. Everybody breaks. My point is, I see everyone else taking your side and not saying what you have done too. I will tell her to expose everything. So he, he got angry and said, well, go ahead. I see my faults and I'm adult enough to be accountable for them. She never listened to you guys. Nothing ever changed. It's always... Um, uh, it's always the same. I become toxic in this relationship and refuse to be that person anymore. And I said the damage on my nieces is too much. You're having so much fun on the premise that you're accountable. You came online to announce it. That is enough. That was enough. But going to download your family history to random guys on Instagram who now use your family to chase cloud to gain followers because somebody has started talking about him uh, and mine, a narcissist and all that. So basically, I'm angry that my nieces are being dragged. Look at them in a post. Somebody saying that, um, you know, that they are uh, products of another person, uh, uh, some guy, some Joe. So he said, he is telling me that um, he, he, he's trying to clear up his mess. He was telling me that he went ahead to tell them to take the photos of his daughters down um, on Instagram, uh, sorry, on Facebook and yeah basically he's telling me that he's trying to do something to clear up his daughter's names he said he'll shut down any reports that these children are not his daughters um uh, 
that always happens with famous people. My daughters will not know or then until they are old enough to understand. Cora and I have always agreed that they don't have access to their social media until they are 16. I've made mistakes. I said the damage has been done. You can't remove what people now think of her and your girls. People are asking for DNAs for them. They are calling your wife a late pussy for hire. It's too late because of all the things he had said. So you can hate me, block me, drag me, whatever. They are saying all that before any of this. I'm going home right now to take a picture of my girls. Believe me, this result is far better than Cora and I fighting every day. So he's basically trying to defend that he it was the right thing to come public. You know better than most crazy things I had to overcome for my family to get us where we are. I was appreciated for it and was thrown out like a trash, blah, blah, blah. I love Cora. I love her. No, I love no other but i'm worth far better than that i have a second child with her hoping she would stop that's the level of my dedication what i did was wrong i broke and really and reacted instinctively and i said such an angel what happened to the pregnancy she lost before anyways this is personal issues okay so apparently she cheats on me every time she's in Nigeria and i said you don't know you know that's not true he says do i he had started the whole smear campaign already um she even brought me to meet him, blah, blah, blah. She hung up with Joe. Uh, hey, smart. Smart. Are you back? Tell smart to take that thing elsewhere. He's making noise in my video. Guys, yeah, sorry about that. Smart, take that thing outside. You're making noise in my video. Okay? So, and I said, okay, you're lying. You need to stop. It's what you do afterwards that matters. It doesn't matter what you what you do or don't do. It doesn't matter if she did it or not. So you see here that it doesn't matter if she if she cheated or not. He's just going to go ahead and defame her. She never cheated, and you all you can always verify that. It's unfair to say constantly cheating. She told me that with her own mouth that she cheated on me with Joe, another white Lebanese. Um, yeah, to your dad. I don't care what she did. I forgive her in the hospital. Is that what she said? Anyways, basically, they're talking about the past. Um, and I said you forgave her, but you're, you're, you're online saying you're tired of the constant cheating. Uh, basically, this is all personal, personal issues. Uh, I'm just trying to say here that basically we were back and forth and I was against this entire thing from the get-go. And so I said, that's what you tell yourself at night. Now I know you're desperately down to bring it all down. And he says, I sound just like Cora because that's what she was telling him at the time. Well done, you're bringing me down. I hope you're happy now. Um, yeah, so basically he says, please help me. I can't stand these sort of interactions anymore. She doesn't see how she sounds. Uh, the voice recording of her regretting June while she cries. Um, so he's angry that she called him a narcissist. And I said, both of you are forcing the world down each, other, each other's throats. <sighs> At this point, man, I'm exhausted. <laughs> okay, so um, I told my sister, stop engaging this guy. Because he would just stay, and then he would start texting her. And then they would start arguing all over again. And he's like, Nancy, I want peace. Um, I said you should stop engaging both online and offline just focus on your children looks like you're trying to force out an apology from someone who is already who already thinks you're out to destroy her because he had gone online to say all those things about her he was still expecting her to apologize okay and i said there's no need to record your conversations looks like you're sending them to someone to prove a point so he would trigger her and then he will get her response and send it to that solomon Bucci guy on facebook and instagram and that one will be chasing clout with this guy's marriage okay so he was basically sending, sending uh, screenshots of their conversation. He would start calling her name. She would respond. He would send it to other people, okay? I said, um, uh, basically, he's trying to say she's a narcissist. You need help too. She's obviously busy caring for those children. Stop engaging in conversations to try to help. You're in no position to do that. Go and see your children. So I'm telling him, Justin, you left the house. Go and see your children. Smart! Oh my god. You guys. Anyways. So, you're making noise in my video. I'm doing a video. Please take that thing outside. Not to the back of my head. <laughs> okay, so guys. Um, yeah. So he's saying he's trying to trying to force the word narcissist down her throat. Um 
you know, I'm not the cra I'm not the crazy now, and nothing she says will make it true. Uh, and I said, if you want to divorce, just go ahead and divorce. That's why you're divorcing her because you can't take it anymore. You don't have to take anything, just uh, like you've been saying. Uh, and I said, the kids are not taking anything. You know she's a fantastic mother. She will continue to be. Leave her alone. The only issue she has is with you. The only issue she has is you. And the only issue you have is her. Leave yourselves alone and focus on your kids. Um, so he said she had dream four days ago. And I said, like you did when you went live and you broke dishes. Um, don't even try to paint any narrative here. Just stop it. That's someone who just gave birth and is handling two children alone. You need to stop it now. Um, he says, I didn't break dishes. She has been like this for years, but she go back to the hospital and yeah, go and be with June since you're such a fantastic dad. Protect her from her mother hurting her. I can't believe what you just said. So, and I said, what are you talking about? Uh, he said, you're literally a nurse. You know that there's a, diff there's a different disease. I said, okay, this conversation is over. I already told you, stop texting her. Stop trying to change her. You're in no position. She has gone through a lot this period. And as a nurse, I know she, she can't handle any more stress this period. Uh, so he says, that's why I'm begging you. I, don't, I can't remember what he was begging me for. Basically, we, we, we called, he called me um, twice. And this was when I was in the US. This was 15th of May when I was in the US. If you remember closely, this was the day that Flora... Uh, the lady whose audio leaked, she, she tried to call me and she said she had a, a nude video of my sister and I told her to go ahead and post it, okay? I told her to go ahead and post it if she indeed had nude photos or videos of my sister. And, you know, that's when he started calling me um, because he tried to he tried to oh he tried to get the lady in Canada to threaten us with a with a sex tape or something excuse me so that person contacted me and I told her to go ahead and post the video if she had a sex video and then she should leave me so I, I blocked her immediately before she even landed she was like hi I have a sex video of your sister you know because that was the time that i had all the evidence i i got all the evidence so my sister told him that oh you know what we have receipts now so he was really pissed off he was like whoa she didn't have this receipts before so it's definitely nancy so he's angry that i'm in the u.s he's pissed off that i'm here giving my sister all this ammunition that was the time we exposed him on the brazilian lady as well he was so pissed off so he brought up the sex tape and then um you know basically this lady contacted me and I said, please go ahead and post it if you have something because I really want to see the sex video. My sister was laughing. She was like, please go ahead and post it. She's like, oh my God, seriously, you want to use a sex tape? And I'm like, okay. Basically, my 